Hello everybody, my name is Garrett and this big beautiful blue van is my home. Wait a minute, you live in a van? You're a weirdo. Actually, Chris Pratt lived in a van, so I'd say I'm just setting the foundation for a long and prosperous career in acting. So this van is a 2002 Dodge Ram van. It actually only has 42,000 miles on it and I got it with only 26,000 miles. Uh, I bought it back in Maryland from some really friendly people who owned a nonprofit there. I uh, worked on it, did all the work in Maryland and then have driven it all the way out to in Oregon, which is where I am right now. So as you can see, the van is now blue. It was actually originally white when I got it, uh, but I wanted to paint it and I found an article about how you can paint a car for like 50 bucks using Rust-Oleum and just rolling it on. So I figured I'd give it a shot. It was a ton of work, but it was only like 50 bucks. Uh, and it didn't turn out great, but it's blue and that's what I wanted. So it works for me. Starting on the outside of the van, you can see that I have this ladder, which leads up to the roof rack. The, the ladder I got for like 50 bucks on Amazon. It was super easy to install. Uh, the roof rack is super great for storing things, but it also actually doubles as my wraparound porch, convenient for reading and sleeping. When looking at the inside of my van, it helps to understand that my two main goals for this build were for this to be a place where I can sleep and a place where I can store things. There's a lot of other vans out there that have full kitchens, bathrooms, televisions, all kinds of stuff, but that's just not what I needed. My goal was to keep it simple and the inside of my van reflects that. So back here, I've got my twin size bed uh, and the bed actually lifts up so that I can store things underneath. And obviously things that I'm gonna put under here are gonna be things that I don't need as much. So this will be snorkeling gear, Buddy the Elf costume, extra camping supplies, whatever it is because um, it's a little bit more of a pain to get to, uh, but it's really nice to have this extra space. Anything that doesn't go underneath the bed is pretty much gonna be in some type of container with a bungee cord around it. So for example, all the clothes fit right here in these containers nicely, and there's a bungee cord around this. And that's mostly just so that it doesn't shift around while I'm driving. The shelves I built here are right on top of the wheel well, and this is obviously the main place where I'm gonna store stuff. There's four different shelves, um, and I basically just bought a bunch of bins that fit in here and we'll categorize stuff and store it that way. There used to be, this used to be where my big um, battery was that went up to a solar panel that I had on the roof. But recently I've been running out of money and I decided I wanted a kayak, but I couldn't buy one. So I figured I'd sell that so I could buy a kayak. Was it worth it? I don't know yet, but we'll find out soon. So from the side door here, you can see the rest of the stuff in the van. Um, here are my backpacks. I have three backpacks and I live in a van. They're probably one of my most valuable possessions, but I hang them up all right here. This is where all the food goes in this bin. I've got a two and a half gallon water tank, trash can, fan right here, which I can't use because I don't have solar panel anymore. Um, I've got a cooler if I need to keep food cool for a day or so or whatever. And then the bin back there is just kind of miscellaneous junk, paper towels, cooking stuff. And that is literally it, literally it. So that really is it. Uh, I don't know how many people that are watching this are actually planning on building their own van or doing that, living in their van. But I figured a little bit of the nitty gritty details might be helpful for those people. So if that's not you, maybe exit out. Um, but inside the van was completely empty when I got it. Uh, it took about three months to build from scratch. I was working and going to school at the time. So it was kind of a nights and weekends thing, but it took three months to go from zero to complete. Uh, I started, I insulated everything. There's three inch foam boards on the walls and the ceiling, and then a smaller piece uh, on the floor. And then there's plywood that wraps around all that. And then I put the paneling on the side and the roof, and then the vinyl on the flooring, which is really nice. It just protects it from water and gives it kind of a nice look. Um, I do have one of the fans. I didn't show that earlier but if you're doing the van life thing you need a fan especially if you're going to be somewhere hot i was in florida for a few months and gosh that thing like saved my butt at night uh, if you're trying to sleep um, i know a lot of people love the reflectix it's great i only put it on the windows and actually i velcroed it on just so that i can pull it off the windows if i want to take it off uh, i love having that and i just put a thermal or what they call it a thermal curtain in the front, which you know keeps the light from going out. And also keep, it does help to keep some of the heat in or out depending on what you want. Um, so I'm not an expert at any of this, but if you do have questions about costs, how to do it, uh, anything would be happy to answer. I'll put my email in the description of the video. You're welcome to shoot me an email or just comment. Um, but that is it. Hope you enjoyed my home. Goodbye. Have a nice day.